What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Mikey Garcia will be pound for pound with Earl Spence victory. Yeah, buddy, this is a big fight, man. It's coming up fast. Uh, not too many people are giving Earl Spence, I mean, uh, Mikey Garcia a chance in this fight. Uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, interviews with Robert Garcia and uh, Big G. I, I guess that's his grandfather. Uh, and, and them them speaking on the fight and uh, what they think about Mikey Garcia taking the fight. <coughs> uh, Big G was basically saying he feels like uh, Mikey's going to win because uh, Mikey's faster. You know, Mikey's strong, strong at welterweight, you know, when he's been sparring welterweights. Uh, the welterweights that are, uh, you know, solidified in the division that he's sparred have said he's strong for for a smaller welterweight, and they feel like he's faster. So I'm guessing that's what they feel like they can exploit uh, within this fight over Earl Spence is uh, the fact that Earl Spence is a little slow, a little more plotty of a boxer. Even though he's he's fast for a big guy, you know, but he's a little, you know, as a welterweight, he's a little a little bit slower. A little more plotty with his punches, and uh, he likes to pick his spots. So I, I'm guessing they're gonna try to uh, they're gonna try to use a little uh, speed bullying technique uh, when they go against when Mikey goes against Earl Spence. You know, try to uh, you know move around him with a f really fast while throwing uh, multiple punches. You know, sort of a Pacquiao style. And uh, when you look at that size difference, Earl Spence is much taller, you know, than him. Uh, Bulk-wise, he's a little bulkier than Mikey Garcia, but I'm pretty sure they can bulk him up by the fight. But you can really tell the size difference when they when they uh, face off. He's, uh, he's probably at least three, maybe four inches taller than Mikey Garcia. Uh, is that going to play a, a big factor? I mean, it'll give Earl Spencer a chance to, you know, lean on him and push down on him. Mikey Garcia is going to have to use the fact that Earl Spence is going to have to come to him as far as uh, leaning down. He, maybe he can sneak some uppercuts in there. Uh, Earl Spence is, you know, he's a big guy for for welterweight. He's a naturally built welterweight. So this is going to be a, a big test for Mikey Garcia. I don't understand. I really don't understand his motivation for wanting to skip up. Uh, weight classes this fast. I feel like he should have fought uh, Lomachenko first and then maybe w went up, you know, if he beat Lomachenko. But, uh, man, hats off to you, Mikey Garcia, for wanting to take this fight. Earl Spence is a, a tall task. It don't seem like too many people want to fight him. Not even Terrence Crawford is itching to get in the ring with him. You know, Terrence Crawford is supposed to be uh, that guy at uh, 147, but, you know, He's kind of like stuck on the top rank island over there. <laughs> Don't really get too many fights to line up over there. Uh, really nobody for him to fight at this point. He should have just took the Pacquiao fight uh, when he had it. You know, he would have been the B-side. But, man, it's, who are you going to fight now? You got to go fight some, some bums to stay relevant now. Unless you're going to... Uh, Bob Earl is going to cross-promote with PBC because that's where all the, welter, the good welterweights are at. Uh, so you know, not but not even Terrence Crawford it, 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 with with his uh, lack of opponents is clamoring to fight Earl Spence. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what Mikey Garcia is thinking as far as calling uh, Earl Spence out. I'm hoping his game plan is on point. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure whatever he sees as far as uh, Earl Spence's technique and what he can take advantage of is. Uh, I'm, ho I'm I'm hoping what he sees, I'm hoping it's true, you know, and I hope he, he's really working on uh, developing whatever skill he needs to take advantage of that because I, man, uh, he he has an opportunity to, be, you know, to really put his name out there, but he has an opportunity to really get himself hurt being uh, that he's jumping up in weights, you know, so fast. We saw what happened to Kale Brook and, and uh, American when they tried to jump up, you know, Jump up and wait. We don't want to see Mikey get knocked out because that could potentially hurt his career. You know, 
if he goes in there and gets knocked out, you know, I mean, what's he, what's he do? He gonna have to go back down and try to uh, try to find a fight with Lomachenko at that point, you know. <laughs> if Lomachenko, you know, Lomachenko will probably fight him too because he's been knocked out, so it would be easy pickings for him, you know. But, uh, you know, shouts out to Mikey Garcia for taking the fight, man. You know, let me know now in the comment section, man, what y'all think about this fight. And uh, y'all think Earl, uh, Mikey Garcia should have actually fought Lomachenko first. You know, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, hit that like and subscribe, man. Tell your friends. Tell your dog. Tell your buddy. You know, tell your computer if you have to, man. Hit that subscribe button for me. I'm almost at 1,000, man. I appreciate all the new subscribers. And everybody hitting the subscribe button so far, man. But I need I need a few more, man, to get to what to get to my goal, man, for the year. So, you know, hit that button for me, man. Hit that subscribe button for me. That's Ali Land Boxing Talk. We out of here.